Hello everyone, welcome back to another video lesson on my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 1, lesson 7, compare decimals. Page number is 49. Before starting today's lesson, don't forget to subscribe my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Okay, yalla, let us start today's lesson. Uh, in this lesson, we'll compare the decimals, like here in example 1, they give us two decimals, 3.6 and 3.8. So, you guys know that, it's very simple, Three, you will compare place by place, at 1's place, both are same, at 10's place, this is 6 and this is 8, 8 is greater than 3, so 3.8 is greater than 3.6, okay? So, here at the ones place same 8 is greater than 6 and so how much greater song 2 is longer okay and how much greater if you minus uh, it is 0 0.2 this much greater got it guys yeah let's move to the next page okay here there's an important thing uh, 0 0.8 is equal to 0 0.80 now 0 0.8 means what guys 8 over 10 oh they wrote it here 0 0.8 means 8 over 10 it means what they divided one whole this block is one whole you remember into 10 parts and out of 10 parts they have 8 okay here they divided one whole this time in hundred parts because this is 0 0.80 the last digit is hundreds okay so they divided this one whole into hundred parts and out of hundred parts they have 80 okay so if you see the pictures uh, in both pictures the same part is shaded okay the same part is shaded and here uh, so that's why we're telling you that 0 0.8 is equal to 0 0.80 uh, and another thing if you match the place values the ones is 0 0 tenths is 8 8 here and there's no tenths it means 0 uh, sorry hundreds there's no hundreds it means 0 hundreds and here is 0 hundreds like if I write any other number 0 0.20 or I write 0 0.2 both are same zero ones two tenths and zero hundredths no hundredths it means zero zero hundredths right or if i write this one still the same thing both are what both are equal so it means in decimals the last zeros doesn't have values how many you want to put according to your need you can put the zeros the number of zeros according to your needs because we are not having them zeros no hundreds no thousands no hundred no thousands no hundreds got it so 0 0.8 is equal to 0 0.80 that is also equal to 0 0.800 8000 same thing got it guys so i hope you understand this thing let's move to the next question okay here it is okay so write uh, less than greater than or equal to in the circle below to make a true sentence okay for example 8.69 that is greater than 8.60 okay 8.6 or 8.60 equal guys 8.6 is equal to 8.60 as I told you above okay you know, let us move down in the guided practice here 0 0.5 is less than 0 0.7 clear here 4 ones 4 tenths 0 hundreds 4 ones 4 tenths 4 hundreds so this one is more 0 0.40 is less than 4. Point, sorry, 4.40 is less than 
44. Okay, let us move to the next page. Uh, this is independent practice. I will solve one, two questions for you guys and remaining all you have to solve by yourself and match your answers from this video. The first one, 4.4. So once and once, four, same. Four and one. So 4.4 is greater. All of them you have to solve and match your answers from this video. Okay, boys. Next one here. For exercise uh, 15 to 17, use the table that shows the cost of posters of famous works of art. So, does the poster relativity, this one relativity, 11.49, or the poster woman and bird, this one, woman and bird, in the night cost more? Which one cost more, guys? This is 18, this is 11, of course. The woman and birds in the night. Okay. Which poster cost less from the lake number one? Where is lake number one? Here is lake number one. It's 16. This one is 15. Water lilies. It cost less. Okay. And then after that, which one is which one cost less than water lilies? Water lilies is 15 and relativity is 11. So relativity. Okay. How many times greater is 46 than 0 0.46? We move the 4 two times. You know that uh, each time we are moving towards left, it means we are moving 10 times greater. Towards right, we are moving 10 times lesser. So we move 2 times. So 10 times 10, that is 100 times. It means what? 0 0.46 times 100 will give you 46. Okay. And this is some explanation. I hope you understand the lesson. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.